Thank God it's whatever day it is. Friday? I'm Tom. I'm Galen. And this is your, your, 15 minutes of fume. Ooh. We are back after a brief hiatus. Um, America in flames, for the most part, productively, I think. We at the lab have taken a back seat to sharing a lot of perfume related content because the current protest moment is so important and we wanted to participate in it enthusiastically and non-obstructively by sharing information and making donations and going to protest and doing all of the things that I hope a lot of other people are doing. But the, um, you know, whatever small clout we had, we wanted to apply it toward that. But that's what brings us here today because we at the lab finally managed to release our new collection of activism perfume blends. Normally we try to get out there like right in the moment as something is happening. This time was a little different and you know, it's better to show up late than get there early wearing the wrong shoes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just in case you hadn't heard, or even if you did and you just would like to hear about it further, um, we have a new collection uh, that came out with our Lunacy perfumes which we'll be filming about next week. Uh, the, new, the new fundraiser collection is called Triumph in My Song. And this is a ongoing collection that we're gonna be adding to over time. So we're just starting off with four perfumes and the collection is inspired by works of 18th and 19th century African-American poetry. We at the lab get a lot of our feelings out via poetry, if you hadn't noticed. Funds raised by these perfume blends will be donated, split four ways, between Black Lives Matter, NAACP, Black Visions Collective, and the National Center for Black Equity. We donate everything above the cost of production, so you're welcome to make direct donations if that's your druthers, but if you want to support us and support these people at the same time, this is a great way to do it. We are smelling these four perfumes today. Apostrophe of Time, Limitations on Imagination, and We Wear the Mask. Okay? Okay. So the first one, Apostrophe of Time, um, this is by, uh, inspired by a poem by a James Madison Bell. And just the last few lines of the poem are, in whose dread presence I shall stand when time shall sink to rise no more. In that broad sea of thy command, whose waves roll on without a shore. Um, and the scent description is the overwhelming incalculability of space, the glow and fade of countless days, the starry expanse of night, a scent that reaches into eternity and toward forever, glittering bergamot, lemon peel, and golden amber, star flecked labdanum, neroli, and clary sage. Uh, the first word that enters my mind is spiky, but I guess that's kind of. It fits because of like the stars, you yeah. know? Uh, I just mean like, I, it's probably like the neroli and the sage and the lemon peel. There's just kind of like a it's glittering. sparkly spikiness. Yeah. yeah. This is one, this makes me feel really emotional. There's like, you know, sometimes when you can just feel the love that has been put into something. I'm really, I really get that from this scent. Um, there's like, it's not sorrowful, but there's like a yearning. And unlike Totality, which we smelled recently, which I think is a similar theme, like this is like the light instead of the darkness of the expanse of space and time. Um, so the brightness from the lemon and neroli and sage, um, but it is just kind of like scattered across this sort of lush, infinite backdrop. Vast. Vast. It really just seems to open up like interior spaces. Really beautiful. Just, it is like a poem in a scent. Next we have Limitations. Uh, Limitations is a poem uh, by Henrietta Cordelia Ray. And just the last few lines. Um, we struggle vainly, still we fain would catch such rifts amid life's shadows, for they bring glimpses ineffable of things divine. And then the scent notes. Dusk purple jasmine and wild plum, orris absolute, honeysuckle, red mandarin, and benzoin. Just a really deep, bruisey purple. Yeah. And it's funny because it's neither really fruity nor super floral. It has that kind of hot summer night smell. 
Whereas, yes. You know, the jasmine and honeysuckle are wafting, and there's like some some fruit, fresh fruit on the trees that have been hanging out in the sun all day, so they're nice and wafty. It's like that, yeah, it's like this like breeze that just lifts you up. Yeah. But also there's, I think, okay, here's where I think the interesting on the theme of limitations, and there's like a real kind of um, heaviness to it, like a heavy purple velvet curtain. I mean, there's like a kind of almost like a, a like a melancholic quality to even like the honeysuckle yeah. and jasmine together because there is like a kind of a sigh, a sigh of longing. Yeah. It's not like really sorrowful, but it, it aches. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Number three, On Imagination. Uh, On Imagination is uh, a poem by Phyllis Wheatley uh, that concludes, uh, Winter austere forbids me to aspire, and northern tempests damp the rising fire. They chill the tides of fancy's flowing sea. Cease then, my song. Cease the unequal lay. And the description is, The unbounded soul... A vibrant, airy, uplifted amber with smoked vanilla and coconut, tuberose, orange blossom, wildflower honey, and sheer musk. To me, this is just like unlike anything I've smelled from the lab. I know. <laughs> and yet it is reminding me of something, but... Well, we were just smelling No One Is Above the Law um, the other day, which was uh, an orange blossom honey. Oh, yeah. But this is different. But this is different. It just really delivers an emotional payload. I really teared up smelling this. And then the final one is uh, We Wear the Mask, which is a poem by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. And if you read the copy of the scent description, Beth talks a little bit about her personal connection to this poem from a young age and how I feel for her sometimes because like everyone wants to create art inspired by the things they love and then sometimes you love something in a way that makes it like an, anything Impossible. you can make is inadequate. Yeah. And I love that she'll go out there and take a swing at it anyway. We sing, but oh, the clay is vile. Beneath our feet and long the mile. But let the world dream otherwise. We wear the mask. Um, the scent notes are a soft lavender with dry woods, carrot seed, and iris, sandalwood smoke, and wisteria. She described this as a scent that she created that about how it makes her heart clench. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> Again, an ache. Yeah, it just, it catches, and I'm like, oh. But it's so beautiful. But so beautiful. Like, what a smooth, um, the lavender supported by the woods is just extremely, uh, it's like a nice, rich, complex lavender. That carrot seed, which we know is like a, a note of sorrow, is really not as intense a presence as it has been in some of these others, like the morning eye, I think, that yeah. we smell. And it doesn't smell like carrots. Like, <laughs> like, I don't want I don't want people to be deterred. Really. Do like, not I don't plant want a this bottle in your garden and expect anything to grow. This definitely has like a night, like a night falling, like dusk, end of day, possibly end of all days. It's really... You're just kind of <sighs> sitting there weepy and wistful. Yes, oh. yes, yes. So we're back with, uh, first of all, the apostrophe of time. You have it on your body? Yes. I have it on my body. This is the um, bergamot lemon peel... Amber, Starfleck, Labdanum, Neroli, and Sage. Wow. I can just only imagine that this would have a pretty strong throw. It just seems to carry on the air. Yeah. Just this really um, bright, resonant, <sighs> herbal... Zing! I'm That's... not getting a zing. I'm getting, getting a, a, zing? a much softer... You want to smell mine? I'm getting okay. a much like softer... It's here. A much softer experience. Completely different perfume on me. Wow. Mine's harsher. Zingier. You're, you're, it does seem like you're amping the lemon peel. Like, it's uh, solemn, but bright. I, I mean, cheerful is the wrong word, I guess, but um, definitely uplifting and just uh, kind of like focusing. Refreshing? Yeah. Um, if, if you like a fresh It has scent. like a clarifying quality. Like, I would put yeah. this on before I sat down to write something, for example. Right. Maybe All I'll right. give that a try later. And then uh, limitations is the Dusk Purple Jasmine Wild Plum Oris Absolute Honeysuckle Red Mandarin and Benzoin, which is, whoa, swerve in a different direction because suddenly it's like day is night. <sighs> the curtain drops. Just really, um, again, solemn, beautiful, uh, dark, but soft and gentle and uplifting. I'm just getting summer memories. Yeah. It's just like some sun-baked fruit. It has a flowers. really beautiful nostalgia quality. Yeah. 
it's it's definitely more than just like a jasmine uh, scent or honeysuckle scent would normally give you and that already is like a nostalgic scent for me that connects to something like really deeply emotional perhaps it's because of these uh the the the, the fruit notes just kind of build out the body of it but it's not like fruity like no but it adds like a there's a maturity a, overall a weight, that is, yeah. A, yeah yeah a yeah, depth like a ripeness yeah 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 it just has gravity it's absolutely stunning then on imagination which is that amber with vanilla coconut tuberose orange blossom wildflower honey and musk so this isn't as much of an orange blossom honey on the skin as the no one is above the law scent no it's like the musk and tuberose and coconut are kind of like stepping forward. Yeah. Normally the honey is what amps on me and this like is actually kind of like a, they're all holding hands in a circle. And it's like soft and it's sweet, um, but there is a kind of like a husky quality. Yeah. Like I guess it's because it's the smoked vanilla that really um, anchors this as a kind of a more sophisticated perfume. Yeah. There's like a longing, I think, in all of these, which is, I really think, speaks to the quality of poetry as like a, a, a thought or emotion that is just like yearning to be shared and expressed, and especially with something that passes through time, like over centuries, I think, is really uh, communicated in all of these scents. Yeah. And last, but certainly not least, um, we wear the mask, uh, the soft lavender with dry woods, carrot seed, iris, sandalwood smoke, and wisteria. It reminds me of the Skyborn scent a little bit, which I try and remember. I think might have iris also with and the lavender. And it has some smoke. It does yes. have iris, and it has some smoke in it. Yeah. Um, this has a um, more uh, a kind of a more of a mixed floral bouquet than that one, and just like I think a hint, it's a hint sweeter. It reminds me of something from Evening with the Spirits. There is like a kind of ghostly lavender quality yeah. to it. Um, it's haunted. It is definitely And a, if you read the poem, nice and all of these poems are on the website, so you really should go and read the poems, even if you have no intention of buying the perfumes. Um, there is a, haunt, a haunted quality to it that I just find exquisite. Yeah. I think it's like a, a, it doesn't necessarily, I don't have the same personal connection, but I don't get the heart clench so much as just like a kind of like a, a, a pause. It really induces like a, a moment of reflection. It's sad, but there's not. I don't. It's not lonely to me. There's like a kind of a comfort in it. Like you're not sitting in this space alone. Maybe it's just because I'm not sitting in this space alone. <sighs> well, if you're smelling these perfumes, or even if you're watching our video, you are not sitting in this space alone. So, um, we'll share the link to these scents. We hope everyone really enjoys them. We will share the video of us reviewing the lunacy scents next week. We hope that you find ways to help out this weekend or read some of the resources that people are sharing and just find a way to feel like you're part of this moment. And that's all we can do for you today. Bye now. Bye.